Hey there guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine Kugler and I'm currently a professional dancer on board Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. If you guys are familiar with my channel, then you know that we're currently sailing through the itinerary of Alaska and also stopping in Canada. We only stop at one port in Canada right now and that is Victoria. Victoria has quickly become one of our favorite ports and we just love spending the day here. It's so beautiful and so I wanted to make a video bringing you guys along and showing you what a typical day porting in Victoria would look like. So currently we're on a road rotation with Victoria so though we do go every single week we either port a nighttime port or we do a daytime port so typically we have a port day where it's really just nighttime we have time to get off get dinner and then our next week in Victoria we'll have the day to spend there as you guys know some of these places in Alaska are very small towns so when we want to go grocery shopping get our nails done just kind of those typical day-to-day -day routine things to do a lot of times we do them in Victoria the worst thing about porting in Canada is that I'm an American and my SIM card does not work the same, which means I did plenty of research to figure out the best way to stay connected while I'm porting in Canada. And that is how I found Aerolo. If you're familiar at all with my channel, I'm sure you know that I love to travel, whether it's on a contract or off a contract, I am always trying to go explore new places. In the past year, I've explored Europe, Australia, New Zealand, French Polynesia, and on my current itinerary, Canada. You guys already know that the ship Wi-Fi is very slow, limited, and and expensive. Us as crew members are usually trying to look for a place off in port where we can connect to the Wi-Fi so we still feel a bit connected to home, especially while we're away for so long, in my case, 10 months. You can also expect how challenging it is for me to upload my YouTube videos consistently when I'm in a different place in the world every single day. But through my research and talking to other crew members, the one company that everyone recommends is Aerolo. Aerolo is the world's first eSIM store that solves the pain of high roaming bills and gives you access to download a digital SIM card from over 200 countries and regions all over the world. Aerolo is trusted by over 10 million world travelers and is the leading eSIM store in the market. Trust me, I've tried so many different options, but Aerolo gives me the best bang for my buck with also providing the best options. Finally, no more stress of buying a coffee to sit at a coffee shop and use their Wi-Fi for hours, and also no more sneaky roaming fees, because that's happened to me too. With Aerolo, it's so easy to stay connected to high-speed data wherever I am in the world. Since we're in Victoria today, I'm going to be activating my Aerolo eSIM card and I'm gonna show you just how I do that to explore the activities that we can go do around the city. And I've also convinced LJ and Eve to stay connected with their Aerolo eSIM cards so that when one of us inevitably walks into a bookshop, we can all stay connected. It's also so easy to set up. All you have to do is download the Aerolo app, Choose an eSIM plan from over 200 countries and regions worldwide. Purchase an eSIM plan based on your destination and then install it. Aerolo has plenty of options, so I just chose the one that worked best for me. When you're checking out, make sure you use my code so you get some money off your order. And then the final step is to activate the eSIM once you arrive to your destination. You'll instantly connect to the internet once you're there. Install the Aerolo app today so you can stay connected wherever you are in the world and you can use this code right here, Christine3, to get $3 off your data plan. Thankfully, I now never have to worry about disconnecting once I get off the ship and I'm off in port and Aerolo has just been the best option I have found personally to stay connected to my friends and family back home as well as all the friends that I've made who live all over the world. With all that being said, in this video I'm going to take you to two port stops in Victoria so I'm now about to get ready and then show you what a nighttime Victoria is like and then and stay tuned so you can see our daytime port in Victoria. Here we are in Victoria. Today is a night port in Victoria, which means we can get off around 5.30 and then our all aboard is 9 p.m. So it doesn't give us that much time, but we're gonna go out for dinner, get some drinks. I'm gonna show you what a typical nighttime Victoria is like. I'm excited. Here's Claudia. We're hey, getting, bye. We're getting ready to go to dinner. We're going to Bellevue's. But since we have about a 20 minute walk, we're going to call our parents, which means we need to connect to Aerolo. So we gotta make sure we work get Aerolo, which I've already told you all about. So make sure you use my code so you get some money off. And once we get connected, we can call our parents. Yes, can't wait to talk to you, mom. Love you, girl.
Victoria. Today, again, like I said, is a night port, so we have like maximum three hours to spend off in port, which usually means we go for a nice dinner, we just chat and catch up and have a fun night off in port, but try not to spend that much money. Hey! Oh. Eve is back. Hey. <laughs> Basically, that is it for our Victoria night port. I'm going to take you along tomorrow, which is actually a week from now, but on our full day <laughs> of Victoria in port, I'll see you then. All right, I'm all ready for Victoria, so we're gonna go get our bikes and get off the ship. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be me, Carrie, Eve, and LJ going into the city on our bikes. I'm literally so excited. I've been wanting to do this every Victoria, and we figured today, since it's a daytime port, we will be able to do that, so it's the perfect day. Got some coffee, just got our nails done. I went for a pointy almond, which I never do ever, but I was inspired by Carrie. We're gonna pass around, show all the claws. I also went for the sharp almond, it's my go to. <laughs> also, this like light pink with a little chrome shine. Here's Eve. <laughs> Hi guys! So I went for some red ones because if I ever go for a color, I go for red because it makes me feel so. They, the girls said I look mature. You do. And the guy that did my nails is so sweet. I had him last time and he remembered me. Hi everyone. <laughs> my last class, I always had my nails in and I had claws. But we went for like a sparkly cat eye today. I wasn't planning on getting my nails done, so it was a nice little yeah. spring surprise. We got to. Victoria is one of our favorite spots to get it, our nails done. It's so good. It's just our favorite port. I feel like it's because it makes us feel the most normal. Like such a normal city. Yeah. We could just have a typical day here in Victoria. So everyone at Cali Nails, thank you. Shout out. We we love your work. I've missed her all day. I know. We've we been so by. far apart today. So far apart. What have you guys been up to? Um, we went to lunch. We went to lunch and then we went and walked around the mall. And then we bought a present. Do you like my shirt? I love Taronga, Sydney, Australia. She was a bit sick the day we oh. went to the Taronga Zoo. Oh, we're she just out of me. So I actually never yeah. went to the Taronga Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it for her. Yes. Right. Yeah. I lived through them in my little cabin. Now we're in Canada. How do you like Canada? It's gorgeous. This is such a great port. That's okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Definitely one of our faves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lots to do here. Really sure. pretty. I said that already. 
<laughs> so for those of you wondering of my reading journey currently, I just finished Throne of Glass, but I think I need like a little palette cleanser before I go into Crown of Midnight. I really want to read Funny Story. To be honest, I don't like hardbacks and this book is really big for my cabin. So I think I'm going to get it on my Kindle. But I'm going to get a gentle reminder because I've had this book on my TBR for so long and I don't know, I'm just in the mood to read that. ready to head back to the ship and there they go. We all look like triplets because we all have denim jackets on. It's adorable, I love it. So we're back to the ship, back from Victoria. And we've literally had the most lovely day. We were just talking about the weather was perfect, company was perfect, like, it just couldn't have been more perfect today. So perfect. And um, the only thing we didn't do that we wanted to do was go to the Fisherman's Wharf, which I'm sure I'll feature in a later video. I went once with Tassie, Eve yeah. wasn't there, but I have to show her the Fisherman's Wharf. I'll show her in another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video exploring Victoria, Canada. And remember to use my Aerolo code Christine3 for $3 off your data plan. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post. You can follow my Instagram right here. <laughs> Stay tuned on where I am in the world and wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having the very best day. Bye, Bye guys! Also, I just want to say thanks so much for all the prayers. Eve's back is better. She's it back is. in the shows. And it's all because of you guys. Yeah. I've seen all the comments and I really appreciate them. Yeah. And I'm back in shows. So. Yes. So that was just a little update. Yeah. But okay. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>